to get you started with bird watching, all you really need is enthusiasm, your eyes and your ears. That really is um, the essentials to get out there and start um, bird watching. You can just watch for birds in your own front and backyard. Um, on the farm is ideal and of course you can go and visit your local reserves. A reserve such as this one, a travelling stock reserve with some beautiful mature trees is obviously a perfect location. When you get to your reserve or the spot on the farm that you want to um, particularly tune into the birds, the, the best thing to do when you first start is to look and listen and if you can get out there nice and early. So early morning is best for bird watching. Uh, mid to late afternoon can be excellent as well, but really at any time during the day, if you have 10 minutes, half an hour um, to bird watch, do it because there'll always be active birds around. Early morning is great for lighting and the birds have just woken up. The nectar starts flowing in the tree, so it's an excellent time. The materials you need for bird watching, as I mentioned, really are your eyes and ears foremost. They're the ones to get you started. And then if you develop a real interest and you want to um, do a bit more, a set of binoculars are quite essential. Uh, the eight times or 10 times magnification um, are excellent. And that's really all you need to start you off and get you observing those birds a lot closer. To help you ID the birds, you, there's lots of resources available, but an inexpensive bird guide is a great way to start. Have it at home, have it in the glove box of the vehicle. It'll help you um, to identify that bird and, and really try and work out what's in your local area. If you want to start recording those species, please do so. Um, a simple notepad and pencil is all you really need. But for those that do like using technology, and most of us now do have some kind of smart device, whether it's a phone or a tablet, um, there are some amazing free bird apps that allow you to identify the birds, listen to their call and also to record them and submit that survey and that's how you can be extra helpful um, to the researchers uh, for the birds to see where the birds are and what the numbers are doing and the extents that they're roaming but really all you need to get yourself started on bird watching is enthusiasm your eyes and your ears and to get yourself into their habitat